We followed over 500 patients with Alzheimer's disease, both in the United States and Europe, mm -hmm. over about six years. And we met with patients about every six months, and we assessed their memory and their thinking problems. We assessed how well they could perform activities of daily living, things mm -hmm. like grocery shopping, cooking, handling finances, things like that. And we also assessed their levels of depression. Mm -hmm. And what we found is that over time, not surprisingly, their functional abilities were tightly coupled to their cognitive abilities. So as their memory and thinking problems got worse, their ability to do their you know, daily tasks also got worse. But that relationship wasn't perfect. So we also found that depressive symptoms were related to their functional changes. So above and beyond their level of memory and thinking problems, patients with depression at the beginning of the study showed faster declines in independence and functional ability. Um, and so what we think is that um, depressive symptoms are adding to disability above and beyond memory and thinking problems. Well, I think that prognosis is really important in Alzheimer's disease and it's notoriously difficult. So different patients will progress at very different rates and we're just starting to understand some of the factors that contribute to those prognostic differences. So these results show that not only should we measure patients' memory and thinking abilities really well, we should also thoroughly assess their psychological symptoms, things like depression and anxiety, because that might also play into their prognosis. Clinically, with regard to treatment, we also think that thoroughly treating all sources of disability, not just memory problems, but also some of the psychological symptoms, could have incremental benefit on their functional ability.